President Daniel Ortega's government, you know, if you remember, cut off uh, all the Social Security benefits to the elderly people right. because he's not getting he's not getting any of the oil revenue anymore from from Venezuela. They were going broke Nicaragua, right. so no more no more pension. Basically, if you were collecting Social Security in Nicaragua, you just don't get a check there anymore. So now uh, the Nicaraguan people have protested these cuts. Uh, President Daniel Ortega's government cracked down hard, and with the help of uh, police and armed pro-government forces uh, and uh, paramilitary forces, uh, hundreds, uh, if not thousands, of people have already been killed, yep. and uh, and uh, a majority of the country is calling for Ortega to step down. Right. So on Wednesday, the United Nations released a report. Uh, mm -hmm. The reason I'm saying this is because we don't really talk. No one really talks about Nicaragua. No. We just had Mercedes here, yeah. and and this report is basically confirming what Mercedes told us. Mm -hmm. So this is now the first report out of the United Nations. We we beat the United Nations into reporting this. So on Wednesday, the United Nations released a report calling on Ortega's government to immediately halt the persecution of protesters and disarm the, the mass civilians who have been responsible for much of the killing and arbitrary detentions. Um, however, uh, Ortega's government dismissed the report as baseless, and they have now expelled the United Nations from Nicaragua. Uh, so uh, the UN Security Council is going to be discussing this on September 5th. Wow.